Hey guys, it's Frances, and I have my first review of the Beauty Big Bang um, tri rectangular plates that I was sent, and I will link for you below, um, probably as well as at the end of this video, the video that I did showing you all the things that I got from Beauty Big Bang, so you got a sneak preview of what you were going to be seeing but I didn't tell you which plate I was going to start with. I'm starting with XL002, and if I, as I told you in that video, um, I sent pictures to my six-year-old niece, and she chose um, two of the images on this plate that, because I did had no idea where I wanted to start, so I figured I would let her join in the fun, and she chose this plate, and she chose these two images, so I have um, some color-changing polish, because I thought it might be fun to do some color changing gel polish. I have uh, two Azure polishes and these are both color changing polishes. I also did a review for these a while back. Um, and this is T25 and T26. Let me go ahead and take off the blue film for you. I didn't do that yet. And you must take this blue film off before you get started stamping. Like I said in the other video, all of the Beauty Big Bag stamping plates are about exactly the same size as a Bundle Monster rectangular plate as well as a, um, a Born Pretty rectangular plate, so they're all the same size. Um, how the images are laid out vary by the plate. This plate obviously has seven large images across the top and then smaller images across the bottom. And there is kind of a, it's a summer theme obviously, but there's kind of a mix and match. There's some um, mermaid themes as well as some under ocean themes, a nautical thing here, and then there's some beachy stuff and some cocktails and a pineapple and some little feet there. And what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and show you this is the cover that it came with, which is really super cute. And here are the instructions on the back. And like I said before, not easy to learn how to stamp by following instructions on a piece of paper. It's much easier to see how it's done and then to practice it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Beauty Big Bang double-sided stamper that they sent me. This is another thing I was supposed to review. And I have not primed this or done anything else to it. I'm just going to do this with my lint roller. Uh, for stamping, I'm going to be using two Beauty, Beauty Big Bang polishes. Stamping polishes 002 is the black and 011 is the gold. And then I think I'm gonna be filling in a little with this ASP polish and some of the and some of the scales. And it's called Studio 54, which is very appropriately named because it is just a ton of glitters. So what I'm gonna do is I will do the design first and then I will start, I will um stamp the individual images for you to see what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and use the Beauty Big Bang um, scraper that came with it as well, that came with the stamper. And like I said, I've not used either one of these items before, so this is our maiden voyage here. This, draw, um, this stamper is double-sided. So, but it is colored. Okay, so that picked up really, really well. I'm trying to see if this is going to be... Now, if I take out that other head, I don't know if you can see through, but I can actually see through it. It's not the best. I would not use this for layered stamping. It is certainly not the best for, like, really great placement but it's not the worst either. And I did not get some of these wavy lines on here for the ocean. Let me see if I can pop them back on here. No, they're not coming on. I got a couple, but not a ton. I'm gonna try and pop some on there. Okay. And I really like how that turned out. So it does pick up nicely 
Let's try the other side. I'm going to get one of these little um, like ferns or whatever they are underwater sea stuff. I don't know why I put this back in. Oh, I was going to test this side. Sorry. Sorry, I was so focused on the stamping that I didn't realize we were. I was going to test the other side. Not a problem. Alright, so I'm going to put this one over here. We'll make it like an undersea life. Now I will test out the other side, I promise. Put it back in. And I will stamp this side. And that also picked up really, really well. All right, and I'm going to put that one over here. Okay, now if I take out the big side, I can see what I'm doing. Like I said, it helps with the placement definitely, but it's certainly not something I want to do layered stamping with. And I'm actually going to do layered stamping with this design. So um, I think I'm going to have to switch to another stamper for that just because it's not as clear as I would like and I am not the best at layered stamping. And I think I'm going to, on my thumb, I'm going to pop another one of these mermaids on there. So let me clean off that mermaid. And when I clean off my plates, what I'm doing is soaking a cotton ball and some acetone and just wiping that all off. And that's what cleans it off. I didn't even wipe this plate with acetone before I started. I usually do, but I did not in this case. And I think the reason that the lines didn't go on my nail before is because I stopped to show you guys. Here we go. Yeah. Alright, and then I'm going to use this design right here. on my ring nail. And I went ahead and took out the other side so that I'm not crooked. And I'm still a little crooked. That it's no biggie. Alright, so then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna double stamp with gold. So let me get another stamper and I'll be right back. Alright. Let's do some double stamping. I like the scraper too. Alright, let's put her like that. I like that. I like it. I think I might speed you up a little bit so this doesn't take forever because I'm going to do some Swatch it after this, so see you back soon. dotting tool and some of this glitter polish. This is a gel polish. So I'm going to have to cure this like I cured these. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill in. I don't know if that's going to work. If it's even going to work. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing it make a difference. Oh, maybe. It's hard with a double stamping. I'm just going to fill in some random scales. 
ones. Let's give it a little extra glitter. I don't know that it's making a difference though. I can see it a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds in the lamp. So I cured the glitter and then I added a top coat and cured that for 30 seconds and I, I saved you all guys seeing that because I don't think you need to see me adding top coat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch the plate for you. I am going to do it, uh, I will probably speed it up and throw on some music uh, so it goes a little faster and then I'll be back to you with my final thoughts. Anyway, how do you like this? I love this. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so my final thoughts really quick. I really do like this plate. As you could see, it did not like my Funky Fingers gesso polish, no matter what I did to it. 
but it did I showed you a variety of other polishes and it did take to those polishes really really well it takes best to the pol to the Beauty Big Bang polishes which is not a bad thing because Beauty Big Bang polishes are really affordable and they are really nice um, my thoughts on the scraper love the scraper really do is probably one of my favorite types of scrapers and the stamper I was pleasantly surprised I did not think I was gonna like the stamper a whole lot just because it is not clear however that is one of the downsides so start with some of the negatives it's not clear um, and it doesn't have a whole lot of give Ho however it picks up beautifully so this would be really good and it can be quasi translucent um, so you can do some more precision stamping I wouldn't do like double stamping like I did here but you can do some more precision stamping with it because it is a bit see-through um, this side here makes it nice to pick up these little individual images without picking up a whole bunch of stuff you got to clean off um, and since it does pick up so clear and so crisp it would be nice to make decals on so that's my two cents on this stamper um, but anyway keep watching for the rest of my videos where I show you the rest of the plates um, and if you haven't already subscribed subscribe Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me and I'll see you again next time. Bye.